hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i want to show you how you can set up web push notification on your website so what is web push notification a web push notification is something like this all this kind of notification you get that your the website you browse or your website you visited they used to upsell and cross sell to you so there are ways to set this up and i'm going to show you that in this video so let's go straight to it if you want to set up web push notifications you can use different platforms but for the sake of this video i'll be using one signal so you go to onesignal.com you select products under products and you see web push notification here so you select web push notification so it will take you to this place the next thing you need to do is to click on get started if you click on get started then you sign up so for, instead of typing your name and your password you can sign up with google so you select google and let's select this email to sign up with one signal so once you follow this process it will take you to this page where you have their pricing plan we have free we have growth we have professional and we have enterprise so what i will do is to just click on get started so click on this free plan for the sake of this video we are using this free plan so click on get started then you give it a name so i'm going to put in my name here right i'm going to put in my name I'm going to select the category that best describe me what i want to use one signal for i want to use one signal to drive visit to websites and my app so what channel do you want plan to use one signal for i want to select push notification because that's what i want to do so the next thing is to just click on continue so that will help me save so they will ask you for your company or organization name so i put additional consulting then they ask me for my website so let me put my website here the website we want to set this up this is an e-commerce website my personal e-commerce website so once i come once i copy the you copy the url of your website you paste your website there they say what industry best describe your company then i will select e-commerce and retail the company size select your company size which is one one to one one to nine employee you just click on continue so they will ask you for your website right so let me just put in my website here shop forever living products name of your website that's the name not the url that they're asking for then you click on create so with this i've been able to create my account and follow the process for it for this place i'll click on complete later so the next thing you need to do is to create an app on this platform where you generate the app id that you need to integrate the push notification on your website what i will do is to just i'll select setup setup platform here if i select setup platform so can you see all the inactive platforms that we have so with one signal you can integrate one signal with apple ios you can integrate it with sms windows amazon and the likes so what i will just do is i will just select web because it is web push notification that we are doing for our website so all you need to do is to click on activate here if you click on activate you have three options to integrate this with your website you have the typical site you have WordPress plugin and you have custom code. For the sake of this video, we'll be using WordPress plugin. So once you select this WordPress plugin, you select WordPress because you are using WordPress. Then you come to your site name. So I'll put in my site name again here. Put in your site name here, right? They are asking for your site URL. So I'll go to my site URL. Let me copy my site URL, then you paste your site URL here. So it is advisable to always upload your default logo. 
so that they will, your customer will know where they are getting the push notification from. So, and it will be annoying to them. So, in this case, let me search for my company logo, Forever Living. So, let me search for my company logo. So, I'll just do, so I'll just do this, right? I'll download this and click on save. Then I'll come back to this place, then I'll upload the logo. So you choose choose file, then you upload your logo, you click on save. Once you click on save and your logo is uploaded, that's right. The next thing you need to do is to come here and click on save here. Once you fill in all this information, come here and click on save. Then you will generate your app ID. Can you see? So can you see that we've been able to generate our app ID and API keys? Those are the two important things that we that we need. So the next thing I need to do now is to the next thing I need to do now is to go back to my WordPress website. So go, go back to your WordPress website and navigate to plugins. Log into this your WordPress website like this. Navigate to plugins and click on add new plugins. So once you click on add new plugin, the next thing you need to do is to search for one signal. Search for one signal. So can you see one signal web push notification? Then you install the plugin. Once you install the plugin, you activate your plugin. So once you activate your plugin, what you will do next is to now go to one signal. So can you see one signal here? You know you just install the plugin. So you just install this is one signal, you click on it. Right? Once you click on it, it will take you to setup and configuration. So all you need to do next is to click on this configuration. Then once you come to configuration, you see your where you will put your app ID and REST API key. So, so that's what we need. So the next thing I need to do is to come back to this place. I'll copy this app ID, right? I'll paste the app ID here. Then I'll come to this place again. I'll copy the API key. I'll paste the API key here. I'll paste the API key here. Then I'll come to Web Safari ID. That is Safari ID. I'll come here. Then I'll paste it here. So that's that. So if you come to send notification settings, use this post feature image for notification icon. You turn this on. So in some websites, when you go there, you will see hide notification after a few seconds. Me, I do I, I want to turn this off. So you select no. I want it to always be there. So send notification literally to iOS and Android platform. You turn this on. Then you come down a bit. You see, control the way, control way, control the way visitors are prompted to subscribe. So the subscription bell is an interactive widget your website visitor can use to manage their push notification status. This subscription bell can be used to init to initially subscribe to push notification and unsubscribe. So all I will do is automatically prompt new visitor with one signal slide prompt before native browser prompt so if you turn this on they will always get this notification once they come to your website so the next thing once you are you are satisfied with all this you leave the remaining ones the way it is this is how you it will look like you leave the remaining one the way it is then you come down and you click on save so if you go to your website now you see that you've been able to set up 
push notification on your website. So can you so can you see now we now have push notification on our website? We would like to show you notification. Can you see the logo we uploaded? That's how you can set up push notification. Can you see the bell icon that is telling people to subscribe to push not notification? So if I come here and click on allow, and I also select allow again, it means I have subscribed to this push notification. And anytime I come to this website, I will get the push notification. So let's go back to our one signal account. If we go back to our one signal account, and we click on finish here you see that this is now active so the next question is how can we see the numbers of people that are subscribed to our push notification to see that you go to your dashboard if you go to dashboard now you see the you see people you come to push so you see if you come to dashboard here if you come to dashboard here, yeah, you will see all the people. You that's where you will see everybody that have subscribed to your to your push notification. So the next thing is, how can you send a push notification to your customers? How can you send push notification to your customers? Maybe you are running a promo and you want to send push notifications to every customers that have subscribe to that push notification you come to push here if you come to push then you select new message you select new push so come to this new push that's how you can send you so you see so you say you can give this 50 percent off maybe you are doing 50 percent off 50 percent off so you can decide to send it to 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 your all your subscription or you can decide to send it to particular segment when you have up to like 100 people and you have large numbers of people that have subscribed to your push notification so if you have large numbers of people that are subscribed to your push notification and you want to create segments then you can do this so let's say we want to do 50 percent to 50 percent of campaign to all people that have subscribed to our push notification so I will, I will select this, then I'll come to this place and say 50% off again. When I say, once I say 50% off again, I can now say get 50% 50, 50 off from all others, all others above. 100 pounds so i can do this then you put in your you are you can upload the 50 percent off so let's go on google and download 50 percent off so let's go on google and download 50 percent off discount so let's go and download and let's go to image right then let's say let's say we download this image right download this image have your own image i'm just using this as an example so the next thing you need to do is to click on save once you click on save come here upload your image choose the image then you click on 50 percent then you save let's say we save it successfully and that's all so where do you want people to land when they want to for this 50 percent off where do you want people to land on you can just direct people to your shop page maybe you want to direct people to your shop page obviously you are going to direct people to your shop page so that's how so you copy your shop page url then you come to this place and click on and paste it on launch url so the next thing can if you look at this preview can you see the preview 50 percent off so let me put 50 percent off so 
if I scroll to this place, can you see 50% of this is how people on Windows we get it web windows. If I change this to web Android, this is how people will get it on Android. If I change this to web iOS, this is how people will get it on iOS. Can you see people on their mobile phone? This is how they will get it. If I change this to web Mac. This is how people on Mac will get it. Can you see? Web Mac, this is how they will get it. So, the next thing I need to do is to choose your delivery. Delivery schedule. When should this message start sending? You can do immediately or you set specific time if you want. And per use user optimization, send to everyone at the same time. You, you send it to everyone at the same time. The next thing you need to do is to just click on review and send your notification immediately if you are ready to send it or you save it if you are not ready to send it that's how you can set up push notification on your website if you have any questions pert pertaining to this video please drop the question in the in the comment section i'm going to pick up any questions you have or any clarification you need if you are here to subscribe to my youtube channel i will encourage you to do that like this video, share this video, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.